Um, over the last few days, I've had, had the privilege of, of spending some time with many of you, with Ruki, but with others in the, in the Albanian community. And um, it's been a wonderful opportunity for me to better get to know your heritage. Obviously, I've had the opportunity to do that a little bit in Etobicoke, the members of my community. But, uh, but now it's wonderful to meet you. And uh, you know, had a chance to attend the flag raising that we had at Queen's Park uh, on Sunday, and, and the dinner that we had celebrating Albania's Independence Day and, and, and today. And you've really done a wonderful job, Ruki and your team, in really uh, using that as an opportunity to help those of us who aren't of Albanian heritage but want to know more and learn more to do that. And I think uh, celebrating Albanian heritage like we are to, here today and hopefully we'll be able to do for years to come is an opportunity for not just those of us who are elected officials but really Canadians to better appreciate Albanian culture and Albanian heritage. And, uh, and as Minister Duguid said, I, I think this is not just, it's, it's about celebrating your heritage but it's also about celebrating the wonderful contributions that the Albanian community has made made to Canada. Um, my grandfather was of Eastern European descent. He wasn't Albanian, but, but he really took pride in his culture and his heritage. And he taught me that heritage to appreciate that culture. And so I have a great appreciation and, uh, for what you're doing here today. And I think it's really, really important. I think it's equally important that we acknowledge all the work that this generation, previous generations have done to build this great country that we live in here today. dinner uh, may have heard me say this, but one of the things that strikes me about this reception and about the last two events we've attended is the pride that I see in people's eyes, of all generations. The pride I see in Rookie's eyes, the pride I see in all of your eyes when we sang the Albanian National Anthem, when the pride I see in these young people who are here today. I think that's wonderful. And the fact that Brad was giving me a little bit of a hard time about my linguistic skills uh, the other day, and I'll say it again here today because I think it, it just really captures what, what I see and what I feel is that uh, Ruki taught me uh, that, that uh, a few words last year. She said, uh, she taught me how to say, Yam Kana Kriyam Shabta. I said that the other day, and, and, I, and I mean it, and I say that again and again because that's the pride that I see in these young people, that's the pride that I see of all of you. And I hope that as we continue to celebrate Albania's heritage, Albanian Independence Day, that other Canadians will appreciate it so much and will also appreciate and share in the pride that you feel for what you've done, for what your community has accomplished, both for Canada and for your heritage. So thank you again for having me and congratulations. Thank you. Before I forget, um, I have a little memento here that I'd like to present if I can to you, Ruki. And you want to read that as well? Yeah. Uh, so this is just, I wanted to make sure that we had a memento to, to present to you. You've been such a wonderful host, your community's been such a wonderful host for the past several days in welcoming me. Um, and so just a brief note, the Albanian Canadian Community Association of Toronto, Prano Urimet Emia Me Temira, as you celebrate Albanian heritage. On behalf of the Legislative Assembly of Ontario, please accept my sincere best wishes as you celebrate this special occasion. I just want to present you with this. Yeah.